Image to image. It's where you take your poor, terrible, disgusting art skills and turn them into a relatively coherent image that looks like it would have taken a long time to make. This is a good example. It's gotten a lot of traction online. Uh, this is... This is a, this is I like this example a lot more personally, um, and you know maybe you want to do your own example and maybe you'll get even more traction online. So how do we do that? How do we do something like this? Because you know this is the level of art that we're at. So how do we how do we how do we go from where we are to this? What we're going to be using is something called Krita. It's this thing. It, it's this thing. It's like 100% free. You can install it really easily on any computer. Um, so yeah, that's what we're using. Krita. Make a new canvas. Uh, 15 uh, 512 by 512 because that's the size that the neural network likes and we'll do create um, and then we've got a nice blank canvas that we're gonna work with uh, what you'll need is the Koi plugin um, you need to install that yourself it's a little bit tricky but I've got a video stepping you through that I take took me about 20 minutes to install it and then after that it you know, just runs perfectly but so I'll be using the Koi plugin I'll be drawing something and then I'll be clicking dream and then it'll make the thing I draw look good okay so we're gonna start super basic we're just gonna create a lighthouse here. And so we'll just start off with this lighthouse for sort of reference. Um, you can see it's kind of all this blue color in the background. So we're just gonna paint over like the entire image with this nice blue for a start. It's gonna be our background. Okay, we've covered the whole image. It's important to cover the whole image because if you have any pixels that are still like just the background that hasn't been covered yet, then those will be interpreted as black. So obviously if you have like a large area that's black and you give that to the machine learning model and it's trying to paint a lighthouse, it'll be like, why is there black? And it'll, it'll go crazy and it'll paint something you don't want. Um, okay, cool. So that's the blue. Um, and I guess, you know, maybe we'll just try to make something that has similar composition to this image here. Okay, cool. So we've got our lighthouse. Get rid of this. It's like, okay, this look, kind of looks like a lighthouse. Obviously, it doesn't look very good. So firstly, we're just going to say what the subject is. A watercolor painting of a lighthouse looking out to sea on a sunny day. And then we need to some, get some qualifiers to, you know, tell the AI that, oh, this is actually going to be a nice looking oil painting. Oh, watercolor. It's going to be like a beautiful one. We'll just find a really famous watercolor artist. That looks good. That looks good. Let's see, what's a, what's a nice watercolor image? Oh, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? Who's that? JMW Turner, great. So we'll just say in the style of JMW Turner because that looks really, really nice. Okay, detailed watercolor painting of a lighthouse, looking out to sea on a sunny day, painted by JMW Turner. Okay, great. Um, variations, we're gonna ask for four different variants just to see how they turn out. Uh, steps, that's like how many times the neural network tries to make the image better and better and better. We're gonna, 80 is fine base seed, let's chuck that up to 1000. Um, this is just in case you want to recreate the exact same effect again, you can use the same base seed and the same parameters and you'll always get the same result. Um, sketch strength. So this tells the AI how much attention to pay to what you've drawn. Um, and it, it tells it how, how much freedom to give it. So I'm gonna say 0.2 and that'll mean it has a lot of freedom basically. And the last thing we're gonna do is just before we click dream, we're gonna make a new layer from all the visible uh, elements. If we just uh, select one of these other layers that are, you know, that they're incomplete, they're not the whole thing, like just the lighthouse or just the sky or just the sea, then the AI will see the rest of the painting that isn't the lighthouse as black. And you'll end up with a strange result because it'll be mostly black. So instead you make one layer that has everything in it and then you click dream. Now, in my case, I'm using Google Colab as the back end. So if we go to the back end, we'll see that, yeah, okay, it's already started. Okay, and here we are. So we got our results. Now, this one looks okay, I think. This looks kind of nice. Obviously, it's a little bit kind of blurry, which is a bit that's not so good. This one looks disgusting, so that's we can throw that one out. This one also looks pretty disgusting. Although, and this one actually has sort of a little bit of charm to it, I think. Yeah, this kind of, it's, it doesn't look as professional, but it does actually kind of look kind of nice. So, point is, you can, these images, at least this and this one, have a little bit of aesthetic value. Um, 
even though some of the others probably don't. I mean, this one actually is kind of nice. Okay, so I think maybe we could have a better result if we increase the number of steps. So let's go from 80 to 120. I think I'm also going to decrease the sketch strength. I'm going to make it point, point oh 0.09 because these paintings are really, really, all of them are really similar to the composition of the original. And I want to give the AI a bit more freedom to, to go wild and do something a bit crazy. Detailed, and I'm honestly expressionistic. I'm going to keep the seed the same just so we can kind of get a, more of a comparison. And we'll go ahead and dream again. Okay. And here we have something that looks actually a fair bit nicer, I think. Again, it's sort of a little blurry. You can use an upscaler to upscale it and make it look a bit less blurry. But yeah, so we have the same seed. And in this case, because we gave the AI more freedom, we told it to um, you know, go a bit more crazy. It was able to make some images that do actually look a lot nicer. I think this one is probably my favorite, to be honest. And if you compare the pair, right, there's, there's, <laughs> there's quite a lot of value, really, we got out of that. For something like, you know, 20 minutes work, I'd say that's not bad. Um, another thing that I think is quite interesting is that from a distance, these images actually look a lot better. So this, as a small image, looks really actually quite impressive. You know, the comparison is, is, there's absolutely no comparison. And the other ones look quite a lot nicer as well from a distance. And I'm pretty sure if you ran these guys through an upscaler, they would, um, they would kind of look nicer big as well. But yeah. Okay. So that's, that's kind of it, right? That's how you, how you use image to image with Krita, um, and this Koi plugin that, uh, we're building at the moment. Um, Choose a number of variations, choose a number of steps, choose the seed, uh, bugger around with the sketch strength a little bit, do a few iterations, and make sure you have some sort of activity to do while you're waiting. So for instance, I went ahead and I changed my shirt, so that's that's one thing you can do. But I'm sure you, you'll have all sorts of creative ideas of what you can do in the three minutes it takes you to actually generate these things. Okay, there's a bunch of links in the description. Um, if you guys want any other, any other requests or anything, please let me know. Um, Last time I got a lot of hate for having my head be too big and up in the corner. So now I've made my head smaller and down at the bottom. Um, if you still hate my head, please let me know. And maybe we could get rid of my head entirely as things go forward. Um, but otherwise, 